Hello, Grüezi, another Swiss dish. Today with Swiss the chef. And today we're going to do a very, very typical Swiss uh, dish called uh, MAC de Vaux Zurichois. Or Zurich Schnatzlitz in our language. Or a thin sliced veal with cream mushroom sauce. That is usually served over a potato roasty or with butter noodles. Not necessarily with mash, whatever. But today we're gonna do something different because that's the way I am. All right, let's start. Okay, first of all, veal. Beautiful veal I got, 300 grams, sliced, thin, well, medium thin, okay. Mushrooms, champignon, or yeah, it's the best. Then we have here, this is unique. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this. These are uh, tagliatelle noodles, butter noodles, which are actually already cooked. Later we'll know why I did that. Then we have oil, aromat, paprika, pepper and salt, okay. Fresh peppercorns, you've seen me done with these before. Cream, necessary. Oil and chopped parsley. Did I forget the onion? Little bit of bay leaves. And fantastic here, a Aus uh, Australian, sorry about that. Alsacian wine, Grand Cru. This is Ottweiler from Alsace region of France. Okay, so let's start uh, with our veal. You know, uh, this is also a bit unusual what we're doing here because uh, I do not want to use any flour today, but you will see we can do it equally fine. So now we're going to put some little bit, about a tablespoon worth of oil on the meat. There you go. Then we add some salt. You can use a lot of salt if you want. That depends how, how salty or how savory you want your meat. Okay, pepper. As always, but because we're going to put some peppercorns in it, I'm not going to put too much pepper, but to, to flavor it. Okay, I'll take paprika. I have some little bit of spicy one. You can use sweet one. Don't use smoked one. Okay, paprika right here. Also to give it some flavor. And then I allow myself to use some aromat again for this. Okay, after this, you just take your hands and mix this meat nicely together. Okay, and then what you actually do is you are going to leave it out at room temperature. Don't put it back in the fridge. It needs to be out in room temperature before we're going to cook it. We're making our um, frying pan really, really hot. Add some of the oil, not too much. Just like so. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this wheel inside piece by piece, fry on one side and brown it. Now be careful, this is filet. Filet typically will get very dry quickly and now you can start flipping. Flipping it around, you can see that and basically that's all you want to do. Nothing longer, nothing more than this. The rest will cook in the sauce, there you go. Okay, back in our container. Okay, normally you can use white onions. That's your typical trait there. And we put some salt. Put some pepper. And we have to wait until these become nice and glassy. In the meantime, we're gonna put some oil in our other pan and when that heats we're gonna put our pasta. In the meantime we are ready here with our glazed nice onions here. All right time to add our mushrooms. Mushrooms in they go all of them and at this point we put a little half of a bay leaf just for some interesting flavor here. And we start cooking this 
at low heat. Now we're going to add our pasta. And that's the sound I want to hear. So what we're going to do here, we're basically creating a pasta roasty. And now I'm going to also add a little bit of butter to our onion mushroom mixture, as well as to our pasta. There we go. And now we're going to add our white wine. Abundant. We keep it on high heat until the wine fairly evaporates. And if you put the cream with the, with the wine, who is, which is acidic, then your cream will split. Okay, now we're going to reduce the heat. The, most of the wine is evaporated. Now we're going to add our cream. Nicely and slowly. And we're going to mix this. Little peppercorns. This is the right moment. These are not very spicy, so you're not making a, a overbearing pepper dish as you may think. Now it's time to add our meat. With its juice. All the juice. All the juice. There you go. And we mix it nicely. And then we cook it all together, not for too long. I keep it on, on low heat because I want to cook it inside the cream. At this point, if you want, you can add some wine or you can add some cream, either way, or nothing at all. While we cook our veal, I have actually shut it off. We keep on doing our pasta roast. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese, parmigiano-reggiano. Now, this is becoming a roasty now, slowly. Okay, in here, and you distribute it out nicely. Adding a little bit of wine just to make it exciting. Just trifle it, little, little pieces, nothing major. Little butter, little oil, oops, that can go back in there, but here's how it should be. Our meat is ready, and here we go, sprinkle some of our Italian parsley and just mix it nicely around Okay There we go And we are ready to eat Okay Here is the tagliatelle Roasty Swiss the chef style And all that has to happen now Is to go And put some of our meat Right on top Tagliatelle roasty, instead of potato, sliced veal, Zurich style, cream, white wine, mushroom, brilliant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is one of the best dishes in the world. And I don't say that because I'm Swiss, but it's true. Mm. Crunchy. This is our last video in Thailand. For that, cheers with this wonderful vin Alsacien, Alsace wine. We see you in another country, another kitchen, and some more different dishes. Till then, thank you, and yay! Swiss the chef, going away from Thailand to a different continent. See you from there. Ciao! Prost! Macht's gut! Love you guys. Bye bye. <laughs>